dialog box, which allows you to very, very quickly modify the, the properties of, of, a, of a part or an assembly that you're working in. So to create a form, um, what you do is we'll just select up over here, click on iLogic, and you'll see there are rules, forms, global forms, and external form rules. Now, global form will exist for you know, whatever, you know, sort of whichever part of assembly you open up, or maybe drawing. A, a form will be a local form, so it's saved inside the, the drawing over here on the part. To create a form, you can right click, add form, and with this, we've got our form editor. Let's drag it up over here. So in the form editor, we've got all our parameters, any rules that we've created, any I properties we've created over here, and we're able then to drag and drop it into the form editor on the left, on the right hand side. So I'm going to go and just select this width, depth, and height, drag it in, and there we go with depth and height. And the form over here will then preview exactly what's going on. Now, form one, I don't really want it to call it form one, let's say maybe a drive model. And you'll see on the right hand side there, uh, form one becomes drive model. So let me just click on OK. You'll see the drive model, right click edit, and we'll see that it's updated to drive model over there. Now, under my eye properties, I can say, well, I want to see the part number maybe. So part number, stock number, or even description on the, the, the form. So dragging and dropping it up into over here, you'll see the part number, it'll give me the part number, and then maybe just a description as well. Okay, so we've got a description, block. If uh, you can also have a summary of the, the materials, Okay, so the materials I'll probably drive through a um, a rule. So I could create a rule over here for materials, and then it would be able to display the material over here. Okay. Now on each of these uh, sort of lines over here, at the bottom of here you got your properties parameter, and you have got your label, the font, so how you'd like it to look, uh, size limits, um, text location, so just things to make it look a little bit pretty, and then edit control type you can have a a slider or a text box. So at the moment, um, if I had to put a slider, it wouldn't really slide anyway because I've only got one uh, one value over there. So let's go take a look at changing that value and then um, putting a slider in. So to change that value, I'm going to go back to my parameters and I'm going to create a multi value for the width. So right click, make multi value. And in the value list editor, I'm just going to go say, let's make it 80. And let's make it 40. So 60, 40, 80. Add, and then OK. Now, if I take a look at this now, you'll see I've got a drop down. If I select it, it'll change my model in the background over there. Once that's done, I can go back to my drive model. Now, when I edit this, you'll, you'll notice that um, it is not, it's changed to 80, but there's no little drop down or anything like that. Let's go see what happens if I select my width and go to my text box slider. Okay, let's click on OK. Let's see what that's done. Uh, let's click on Drive Model. And you'll see that we're 80. But let's go all the way down to 9, 2, and 1. Okay, so I don't want that. So let's go back to our, our model. And just before I do that, let's just go take us back to. 80, edit my form, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete that width, okay, and then just drag and drop it back in again, okay. So now what you can see is I've actually got a drop down for my width, so you can see this little drop down button over there. Click on OK. And going back to my drive model form, you'll see there I'm now able to go and select the ones that I've actually now specified. So let's go back to our form, edit that, and let's go make that a slider. So width, um, sorry, here we go, list box over here. Okay, so the slider is not available, but we've got a list box, so it actually will list up the 60, 80, and the 40. Okay, so that's your list box. Or if you want, we can go to a radio group. So actually, you can select on each one over there as well. 
So with this, now you can see there I've got three options without the drop down. Quite easy to go through the different options that I do have. With the list box, uh, let's go through to our depth. Okay, so the depth is 100. Let's make it go from 100 to 80. So if I select the depth down at the bottom over here, I've got my edit control. Let's go to slider. Okay, then under your slider properties, you can see the minimum value is 1, maximum value is 10, and step is 1. So let's go step size is 10. Okay, minimum value is, let's make it 70. And the maximum value is 100. Okay, so once that's done, select OK. Let's go test out our model over here, or our, our form. And you can see that I can slide it between those three values over there. Oh, those are one, two, three, four values over there. Great. And that is how easy it is to create a, a form where you're able to then go and drive your model through different values that you have created in your iLogic forms over there. Thank you very much for watching.